So the title that um, I initially had was Choices We Make in, in Implant-Supported Restorations, uh, but that's really camouflaged from the, from the subject that I would like to uh, speak about because I felt that if I gave the uh, program administrators my true title, uh, they wouldn't let me on the program. So my real title is Ceramic Failure in Implant-Supported Restorations. This is a topic that um, is becoming more and more interesting to those of us who, who restore dental implants and particularly to those of us who, who in the field of, of dental technology fabricate these, these components either through the, the analog or, or digital world. So, is it a problem? Are implant-supported restorations more susceptible to ceramic failure than natural tooth restorations? And I think the answer is clearly yes. Is there evidence? Absolutely, there is evidence. Most recently, Julia Wittenebben and the, the group in Bern uh, published a paper, Complication and Failure Rates with Implant-Supported Fixed Dental Prostheses and Single Crowns at 10 years a 10-year retrospective study, and with almost 400 uh, restorations, victory constructions, in partially edentulous patients, they found one-fifth of all of those restorations underwent some sort of ceramic chipping or, or failure. Uh, similarly, 10 years ago, uh, Professor Goodacre showed very similar results, and, and Bjarni Peterson in 2007, six years ago, showed up to 37% ceramic failure in implant-supported restorations, which is much beyond the level of acceptability in the private practice situation in particular, where failures of this sort tend to cost you very dearly from a financial standpoint. 